Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge, and welcome to another episode of Bunches of Lunches. But today, instead of sharing lunches, I'm actually sharing breakfast ideas, so stay tuned. Now two things before we get started. First up, make sure to hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like fun but easy breakfast ideas. Now the next thing is the weekly shout out. Today it's going to Megan Bourne for being the first commenter on last week's video. Thank you. Now let's get started. Good morning friends and welcome to day one of special breakfasts. This morning I got up bright and early and I started making some waffles. I like the multi-grain mix from Trader Joe's. It makes it really easy. So after I was done making my waffles, I went ahead and gave the kids each one little triangle, which I'm going to make look like an ice cream cone. So I have Mackenzie's here and Jackson's, and I still need to finish Lily's. So I'll show you. All you have to do is take a banana and slice it up, and the banana's going to look like our ice cream on top of our cone, which is the waffle. So I'll just go ahead and arrange my bananas just like this. I'm gonna put a little bit less for Lily because she usually doesn't eat as much as the bigger kids. Okay, so there's the ice cream on her cone. Now, of course we have to have some whipped cream on top of our ice cream cone. Just a little bit, it makes it really fun. And some sprinkles. And on top I'm just going to put a little piece of strawberry, which I cut into a heart. This is definitely a breakfast that you could serve on a birthday morning. It looks so fun. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving some turkey sausage. And I actually stuck it in my waffle iron when the waffles were done because they were actually fully cooked turkey sausages and all I had to do was heat them up. So it was really easy to just stick them in the waffle iron and it gave it a really fun design as well. Over here, I just have a little cup of milk, a piece of honeydew melon, and one extra strawberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and call the kids, tell them breakfast is ready. Hey kids, it's ready, breakfast. Oh. Whoa, that is cool. No. Does it look like an ice cream cone? Uh -huh. Yeah. And there's whipped cream and a little strawberry on top. Okay. Isn't that cute? Uh-huh. Now I usually get a lot of questions about the trays. I got these new ones at the Dollar Tree. Okay, here's what they ate. I got all the kids with me. What'd you think, guys? Good. It was really good. Yeah. But what was not good? I didn't like this. That? Me either. Nobody liked the honeydew melon, and I really can't blame them, because I tried it, and I don't know what's wrong with it, but it does not taste good. And I like honeydew melon, usually. So that's okay, but Lily has one little strawberry left. But you ate all your other foods? Yeah. What'd you think? It was super good. Oh good. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now I can eat this. Yeah, you can eat it. That's fine. Bye. Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Now the kids are actually still in their beds. I need to go wake them up really soon because breakfast is ready. Today I started by making some strawberry cream cheese stuffed toast. To make this, I just took some wheat bread and I added some strawberry cream cheese. And then I also added some fresh strawberries as well and then I use my sandwich maker to grill it up. Now to go along with this today, I'm also serving some more of the turkey bacon. The kids really like that and it's really easy. I also have a little thing of orange juice, some Activia yogurt, and a little fruit stack. On the bottom we have cantaloupe, followed by a strawberry, and a little grape. So it's very fun. Now let's see if I can go wake them up and start the day. Okay, here's how they did. Now I just have Jackson here helping me and he's actually finishing his sandwich right now. He's almost done. I can see Mackenzie did really well. She just left a little bit of her sandwich. Like I said, Jackson's still finishing his. And Lily, she didn't touch her yogurt, but I can put it back. And she wasn't a big fan of the cantaloupe either, but she drank her orange juice and she ate most of her sandwich, so pretty good. What'd you think, Jack? Good. What was your favorite part? Maybe the sandwich. The sandwich, it's good, you really like it? You know, you could also make that with blueberry cream cheese and add fresh blueberries inside. Okay. That would be yummy. Or you could put bananas with strawberry, that would be good too. I've okay. even seen some where they put Nutella instead of cream cheese, but that sounds more like dessert, doesn't it? 
Yeah. And we'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. Good morning, guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today I'm serving some breakfast banana splits. They are so fun. So I'm just putting the finishing touches on here, so I'll go ahead and show you how I'm making these. I'm starting off with just half a banana per child, and on top of that, I'm going to add some of this really yummy vanilla yogurt. We're gonna use this in place of ice cream in this dish. So just a little spoonful is all they need. This vanilla yogurt is so good. It has little specks of vanilla in there, and it's really thick and creamy. To each of our banana splits, I'm going to add a couple of grapes, just like that, and some cuties. These are just little tangerine cuties that I've already peeled. We're just trying to make it look fun and colorful. Next comes what really makes it look like a banana split. That's just a little bit of whipped cream. And to top it off, I'm going to add some sliced almonds. This is gonna add a nice crunch and give the kids more fiber and protein. And just to make it look festive, one shake of sprinkles. Now to go along with our banana splits, I'm also serving some turkey bacon, half of a hard boiled egg, and a little teeny square of toast. To drink today, I'm just gonna go ahead and give them water. Hey guys, breakfast is ready. I almost forgot the cherry on top, but since we don't have cherries, I'm just gonna put a little piece of strawberry. Okay. There we go, doesn't it look fun? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. So here's how they did. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. good. Did you ever have a breakfast banana split before? No. Was it cool? Uh -huh. yeah. What was your favorite part? I really, I really like the bacon. The bacon, yeah, the turkey bacon is yummy. Okay, so you ate just about everything, Jackson did too, and Lily left us a tiny bit of her banana. So, pretty good today. And we'll see you for breakfast tomorrow. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today I'm trying something new. I've never made this for the kids before and I'm hoping that they like it. I made some smoothie bowls. A smoothie bowl is just like a regular smoothie, but you make it a little bit thicker. You don't add as much liquid so that you can actually eat it with a spoon. So it's like a really thick smoothie. And usually you add toppings as well. Today I have bananas, blueberries, and almonds. Now for my smoothie, I just took some tropical blend of frozen fruit from Costco, and to that I added some frozen spinach and a whole banana. I also added a little bit of orange juice and a little bit of almond milk. Not too much because I wanted it to be thick. And then I just blended it up. And usually I make a big blender full, so there's enough for the whole family. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving turkey bacon, one of our favorite easy go-tos. I have a little cup of milk, a tiny piece of a croissant, and in this little cup I have some coconut cashew granola. So they could add it to their smoothie bowl if they wanted to, or just eat it plain. It is so good. So let me go see if I can find the kids and get them to eat their breakfast. Are you hungry? Yeah. Come see. What do you think? Cool! Does it look pretty? Yeah! Okay, so this is a smoothie bowl. When mommy and daddy went to Hawaii, they had these smoothie bowls everywhere and they were really popular. So basically, it's just a regular smoothie that's thicker and then we have some fruit and nuts on the top. So instead of drinking it, you eat it with a spoon and it's almost like sorbet, like frozen Ooh. yogurt. You guys ready? Yeah! All right, here you go. Here Thank you go. And, Thank you. And when they're done, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, it's after breakfast now and it looks like they did okay. Mackenzie has a little bit of her smoothie bowl left. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. It was good, maybe it was just too much food for you? Yeah. Yeah? But you ate everything else. What was your favorite part? Bacon, the croissant, and this. Yeah? Let's see, Jackson, what did you think? Mm, good. I like the smoothie bowl, the croissant, the milk, and the bacon, and the... So you like you liked everything? Uh-huh. Where's Lily? Lily, are you coming? Nope, she's not coming. <laughs> she has a little bit of her smoothie left, just a tiny bit, like one sip of milk and a few crumbles of granola. So, not too bad. I thought it was really tasty. I liked it. Yeah, we'll see you for breakfast tomorrow. Now I can eat this. Good morning and happy Friday. 
That's right. Right now I'm putting the finishing touches on our breakfast, which is just a little drizzle of syrup. So for our pancakes today, I started with a multi-grain pancake mix from Trader Joe's, and I just added some blueberries. And of course, we love the Mickey shape, don't we guys? Yeah. That's our favorite. Although sometimes we like to make these with chocolate chips too, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Now to go along with this, I'm also serving two of these turkey sausages, um, a little bit of milk, and then I have two different fruit kebabs. I think fruit is more fun when it's on a stick, right guys? Yeah. So does it look good? Huh? All right, here you go. Can take mine. Okay guys, here's how they did. They ate it all. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really good. Yeah? But would you prefer chocolate chip pancakes? Yeah. More than blueberry? Yeah. Maybe next time. Now, when I make pancakes for breakfast, I like to make extra, and I'll go ahead and freeze these for a different breakfast. And I do the same thing with waffles as well. Overall, they did really well today. And we'll see you next week. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which breakfast was your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.